Rob here from Live the Boat. Thanks for stopping by. Weather is pretty hideous in the Northwest here today. So we decided to take some time to stop by one of our favorite companies, Sea Dog Marine here in Everett, Washington. Sea Dog manufactures over 6,000 parts for boats and boating. Chances are if you own a boat, you probably have Sea Dog accessories on your boat somewhere. We're gonna step inside and check out a few new products with our friend Zale here and show you what they got going on inside this great company. Let's go. Zale, how you doing, man? Rob, huh? how are you doing, Good. Man? Good to see you. What do we got here today, buddy? Well, so we're, I'm just packaging some, some new product and uh, mm -hmm. some old product that we've had for a while on the market. And I thought you actually might think some of this was pretty cool. Like a... Uh, okay, got a boat hook. Boat hook hole scraper, okay. boat hook here. That's, Dang, dude. Yeah. So you got huh. just a little bit of reach. You got some reach with that thing. <laughs> nice. And those, uh, those are a product that we make. They come Ooh. in all sizes from handheld, you know, yeah. umbrella size. And then you said you have some boat scraper thing that goes on well, here. Well, actually the coolest thing with this is, just run this back down here. Mm -hmm. The coolest thing is, you know, let me show you this. So we make, uh, Norman, one of the guys in our office, was watching somebody scrape the heck out of their gel coat one day with like an actual <laughs> like gardening hoe That's to get the uh, it all barnacles starts there, off. Buddy. So it all started. He just invented huh. a boat hook hole scraper. Mm -hmm. so, you know, we get grass that grows on our boats in the summer, and then I got to haul the boat out and pressure wash it. But I might be able to save myself at least a couple of weeks. Save with this yourself thing. right here. Oh yeah, look so at that. So check that out. You can yeah. just. There Scrape that stuff right off. Yeah. Plus, you could probably use it on your vehicle too, right? On your truck well, that windows. Was the, that was the funny right? part is that's exactly right. Is everybody in the Midwest, mm -hmm. in Alaska, ice scraper. And they all get lift for kits. Big rigs. Right? Every so single they're one up, of them do. They're up here yeah. trying to do something. Yeah. yeah instead nice. of just your whole belly full of water and snow yeah. right there, you just. No, I like you that. You can man. phone it in. So that's one of the really, yeah. really neat products that we've been working on right there. And mm -hmm. that's just. And you should see all these have an Acme thread on them too. That's a universal thread mm -hmm. that all your broom handles, mop, anything like that has it. So it's not. Nice. This is just something, it's kind of a little plug and play design. Mm -hmm. And of course our boat hook hole scraper. So I like this too. What's going on there? Well, how many times have you guys been at the dock? When This is for your fuel tank. So there's your right? broken chain right there. It's for okay. a fuel tank. So when that drops in the drink, mm -hmm. you just go ahead and grab your, just a rubberized mm -hmm. emergency dock hole. Now you're back nice. out boating. Your day's not wrecked so at all. So that's your spare. That's your spare. Leave that in the glove box or wherever in the storage yep. compartment somewhere. And now you got a yep. backup. And that's huh. backup. So instead of your entire day being ruined, or yeah. you snuffing well, that'll rags just become my that'll just, or, that'll just become my cap at some point, right? That's there, exactly right? what happens with a yeah. lot of them, yeah. There are a lot of FedEx trucks here. You guys have got all kinds of stuff going on As here. As you guys can see, I mean, uh, busy you know, place. over 6,000 different marine parts. Oh, I know. Yeah. You know, we, place we create a lot of them ourselves, a yeah. lot of unique stuff, and it's just, a, yeah. just pretty cool. So we what got, else we got in there? Well, you know what? You guys have some cool charging applications. Yes. Yeah, for USB, whatever, pl plug your phone That's in there. That's exactly it. So as you guys are going through your season and you're pulling all those old plugs and everything like that out, mm -hmm. we now, here, I'll, I'll actually take you guys yeah, over to a couple of them. Because I've got a USB charger on my dash, but it, but you're saying that's gonna all transfer over to a new It's all transferring, now, right? yeah. So if you've got your new iPhone or anything like that, you have a UBC now. Yeah. So you don't, you know, even if you want to be old school and slow charge with a UBA, mm -hmm. UBC is the new fast charging. It's the fastest charge you can get. So we've created a whole series that still carry voltmeters yeah, and that. So now you got a bolt right there. It. Got your UBC and your USB and yeah. then you got a voltage meter on there. That's exactly right. A voltage meter. You could still charge, but the cool so thing about flip this. these up. Look at that. You got your, your USB ports in there. Yeah. And now the new one has a UBS port as well. Correct. So, and huh, you are going to be slick. able to, on any of these through here, these are all UBA, so now our new ones are coming with the UBC that we have in there. And all of these are going to fast charge, meaning if you're running, um, say you're using your iPad, you know, for uh, Nevonics or anything mm -hmm. like that, it's going to actually charge your iPad. It'll charge your kid's switch. Mm -hmm. It'll charge your phone. And normally with the UBA, it would all it would do is keep it powered. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to have the capability to not only upgrade, but you know what happens when people get on the boat nowadays? They're like, oh, where can I plug in? I'm almost out of power. Oh, for sure. So yeah. you know, that's that's huh. just a couple of things that we've been working on out yeah, of the slick. six thousand different oh projects we have going. And, well, let's take a quick yeah. walk through the warehouse. Please. But good lord, we we just yeah. checked out this wing of it, and my goodness, oh my gosh, yeah, tons of stuff going on here. So so much stuff, as you can see. So I mean, everything from 
you know, stainless steel little oh, cleat yeah. parts I've for got you. those on my boat. Oh, everybody. Yeah, yeah I've got a bunch of those. Yeah. Pretty much every skew in here I think I've purchased over the years. Stainless, oh, yeah. all the stainless. Oh, here's some horns right here. Uh, here, right here, for example, uh, this mini uh, compact horn. Mm -hmm. If you have a pontoon boat, any small boat, you know, ski boats, ski boats. runabouts. I've seen these on so many oh, boats. Oh man, they're, it's, yeah. if you've got one of those boats, then you probably have a sea dog horn. Just about every OEM that. in the country yes. is probably running one of those little horns. Yeah, yeah, nice. just, just one of the 6,000 products. Well, we've covered about <laughs> six of them now, so we got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how many yeah. more left? Yeah, only over 5,900 something to go. Yeah. Um, those are screws and hardware. Now this is, we saw the mini guy earlier. Oh, look at that. That's the uh, the Magnum version there. So that's the daddy yeah. of the other one that. Hmm. <laughs> nice, so then that folds up. That. Like so, and then this little cap goes on there. Exact concept. Right there. Cap and locks. Yeah, keeps that all together. Organize, throw it in a hatch somewhere. Yep. Keep it out of the way. This oh, yeah. is kind of a cool section when we get into some of the stuff over here because we've got our more and more and more anchors, but you'll mm -hmm. see here in a minute. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at the size of that one. Jeez. <laughs> Let me get some more lights for you guys. There we go. Look at this beast. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Look at that sucker. <laughs> That's a workout. Oh, good Lord. Oh. There we go. You're gonna feel that when you're driving. Yep, <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> That'll be the back stretching. <laughs> and it goes and goes and goes and, and this, goes. And this building is 100 years old, right? 100, yeah, 100 plus year old building. Uh -huh. 100 year old company coming up this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna head over to another division uh, portion that we have. We have a full injection molding facilities with full injection molding capabilities. Awesome. So not only for marine, aerospace, automotive, defense contracts, yeah. everything like that. But one of the huge pushes we're doing right now in our injection molding is recycled and made in USA. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a pretty cool portion I'll show you guys right now. What do we got going on here, buddy? Well, so this may look like a disorganized pile of just plastics. <laughs> But what you're seeing right here, literally, these are a base for our uh, triple threat rod holders. Um, hmm. So what you see right here is actually part of the process is these come out of the injection molding facility. Mm -hmm. Then they come down here. This is after they've been water saturated and some of the proprietary things that we do. We bring them down here and this is cooling. And then from cooling, they're actually gonna go back where we just walked through and our tooling and parts are gonna start putting all these things together. But mm -hmm. they have to cool down and they get spec tested and QC tested. You for can see where control. your quarter inch screws go through there and exactly. all the mounting hardware, yeah. And you can also see if you hmm. feel this stuff, you know, you see a lot of other product and you get those burrs, get burrs and on them. Yeah. and everything. These are all nice and clean. Every single one of them, yeah. We hmm. have pretty strict standards for those and cool. it's just a pile and yeah. then we can head over and see some injection molding. Sounds good, buddy. Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. Yeah, this is kind of where the ingredients of the soup are made. <laughs> Jeez. I recognize these things. That That's was right. Still, that was still warm. These are the pins off of crippled herring hoods. Look at that. That is exactly what those Sitting are. Them out so... like crazy. I'm going to fill my pockets full of a couple handfuls of these things. <laughs> yeah, look at that. And then every one of these pieces of machinery in here is spitting out a different plastic. Every piece, single one right? of these machines is on a different run right now. This is a made in the USA, recycled plastic, injection molding facility. Hmm. So this is a 225 ton 225 machine. 225 tons. And everybody knows what these are. Cup holders. Oh yeah. Every boat in the US has, has some it. of these on it, right? That's exactly right. And uh, look at all these. Just cranking them out. And then when they get cranked out, they just that come was, right over that was, here. That was still warm. That's exactly right. And that gets so recycled. Here you go. Here they come, yeah. And this is all back to recycling here, right? That's exactly right. Yeah. And then that gets reground, recycled right back in. Yeah. So what are these, Zale? So if you've uh, kayaked or anything like that, then here are your hatches for your kayak. Yeah, I've seen these. That's exactly right. Huh. And that comes off like so. 
Pops right off. Oh, there you go, yeah. Pops right back on, hmm. completely waterproof, and away we go. And then, of course, you've got the beast. <laughs> yeah, and that one's shut down right now as yes. they get ready to put another mold in there, right? That's exactly right. Yeah. What our uh, engineering design team are doing is designing a massive mold for this guy. Mm -hmm. That'll go in there, and then I'll start being production run and, and make more product. These molds are, everything here is made in the US. Mm -hmm. So all the other plastics for the most part that you see come in are all made overseas. Mm -hmm. So Sea Dog is making a huge push right now. Bring US made, recycled, yeah. sustainable product. We like that. And yeah. you're bringing in apprentices too to train them up on this stuff and one get of the them going. Cool, yeah, one of the cool things that uh, Select Plastics and those guys do are, we have a five year apprenticeship. So it takes mm -hmm. uh, quite a long apprenticeship just to be able to work on these molds yeah. and design these molds and everything else. Wow. So pretty special, buddy. Yeah. yeah this trying is to fun, train, man. train the future and still yeah, this fish. Is, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, right? Thanks for taking the time, man. Anytime, oh, Rob. Wow. It's good to see you today. Yeah, it's hard enough to dig into all these boxes. Like, parts for parts oh, for I know, parts. I know we gotta get out of oh, here. Yeah. Let's just, no, 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 no. Let's just do this one right what here. What do you got right there? Right there. Folding D-ring. Okay. Well, stainless D-ring. I'll match you a stainless steel deck ring. Oh, I'll raise you a, uh, <laughs> what do we got here? Hang on. Good Lord. Oh, keys. Swivel yeah. jug. <laughs> oh man, you got me on the swivel jug. That's been Live the Boat this what week. We Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there. We're going to be do doing more stuff with Sea Dog here and Zale. Thanks, dude. That hey, so thanks fun. again, yeah. man. I hit appreciate that subscribe you guys taking the time. Button. We'll see you next week.